Okay, and we're back. Day two with uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 2 Hot Man's Chest. I mean, Albatross. That was weird. Well, that was a weird little slip. What's up, man? Back for more, eh? Gosh, not even a good afternoon? Al doesn't waste a moment, does he? Could be good, could be bad. I'm always up for a little more, Al. Thought as much after I lost our last Rendezvous boo. Just kidding. Wow, a Ron debut, or however you spell it. Very grown up and cool. Care to prove it, though? Prove it? Skip detention tomorrow. With me. Hmm. Must be for narc business. Because fighting crime takes you to some dark corners of society, I bet. Wonk. Like skipping. Yeah, well, maybe I'll think about it. Bitch, I ain't gotta think about it. What's up, boy? You ready to skip detention? I'm headed to the roof. You should join me. For now, I must disappear mysteriously. Hacha! That was weird. Wait, how was that mysterious? All I did was go out the door. I wanted me to meet him on the roof? Hmm. Something more to Al than his good looks and charm. I better to get to the bottom of it. I'm gonna get to his bottom when I fuck it. Hmm. Al said he'd be up here. Maybe I missed him. Unless he's in disguise. Maybe he's in those bushes. As a, hmm, one of those twirly roof vent things? Nathaniel Merriweather. Or I was a little early. I thought you'd be here. He told me to meet you here, so yeah. You always do what you're told? Sometimes I never do what I'm told. Some other times, I always do. Yeah, way to sound mysterious, Nathaniel Merriweather. That makes you all kinds of alluring. Quite a mysteri- Mystery? Oh my god. I'm recording this at noon, and I don't even have the excuse of drinking heavily yet. You're quite a mystery, Nathaniel Merriweather. Ha, I knew it. I brought you up here for a reason. Probably for his criminal justice club. Ooh, maybe we're doing a stakeout. I wanted you to meet a friend of mine. That's creepy. Whoa. Introducing me to his friends already? Wait. I gotta listen to the song for a minute. Okay, that's good. Things are moving so fast. Only problem is... She's a criminal. Oh no! And you're in the criminal justice club. So conflicted. Being conflicted is a very romantic and grown-up thing to do. It's like Al is a film noir protagonist who also doesn't know how to wear a shirt properly. And he has huge nipples. It's fucking awesome. I guess. Don't know. Film studies is more like a college thing after all. But it sounds good. So, when you meet, you have to give her the secret criminal handshake or she won't trust you. Wow, I was right the first time. This is so a stakeout. I brought you up here so you could show me the handshake in private. That was a weird twist. And this other nipple is fucked up. Where no one else in school would see it and then enter the world of crime. The secret criminal handshake. How am I supposed to show Al how to do a thing I don't even know? Um, sure. It goes like, uh, um, just make it up. Here goes nothing. Start by going up, then uh, further up. It's a key to it. So you know something is up. Like the jig, maybe? That's criminal talk. Then, uh, because you're so high up now. <laughs> I'm so high right now. Because you're so high up now, you have to bring him back down. Can't believe I'm holding hands with Al already. I guess technically not really holding hands. But technically we are too. Um, where was I with the handshake? Oh, right. Uh, yeah. So you take it down a notch. Down again. Whoa! Are you trying to go down on me? Uh, yeah, sure. Did I do two downs by accident? Oh, whatever. And then you sort of go to the left with it, and uh, then back to the right. Because if you kept going left, it'd look a little weird. But then you do it again, so they know it wasn't a fluke. What? Left and right twice then? Uh, yeah, I guess. And then you finish it by going big another start? I don't get it. And like normal people would just think it's nonsense, but another criminal would know what you meant was the same words only reversed. Ow. 
start another big. And the response they give to that is crime. And that is your criminal code. Hey, that sounded pretty good. Boy, Alisher is taking a lot of notes. Even the handshake of crime is devious. I will just assume I randomly guessed it completely right. What were the odds? I think you're ready to meet my friend. Let's go to the secret criminal meeting place. Skipping school and leaving school grounds? This is truly dangerous stuff we're up to. Now we're already in detention. Are we stopping for a latte? This is a secret criminal hangout spot. That's why we hold all the criminal justice club meetings here. That's a good idea. That makes sense. In a way. No, it fucking doesn't. That's retarded. I'll introduce you to my friend. He'll give her the criminal code handshake. Then you guys just talk. Freely and as if no one is recording you for evidence. Huh, that's easy. I talk like that all the time. Here she is. Who the fuck is that? Nathaniel Merriweather? Meet codename Condor. Sheesh. I thought Gallagher Ship was a dumb name. <laughs> you know it's not my name, Al. I meant Connie. <laughs> Condor, I meant Connie. Um. Anyway. Hello, Nathaniel Merriweather. Pleased to meet you. Wait, maybe we shouldn't be so polite. Are criminals polite to one another as a matter of course? Honor among thieves, that's totally a saying, right? Maybe that extends to basic manners, too. Couldn't hurt. I'll just leave you two alone. I'm sure you and Codename Connie have a lot to talk about. Wonk. It's just Connie, Alfonso. Right, yes, sorry. My friend, Connie. Thank you. We can speak without reservation now that I let this alone is not hiding with remote listening devices to pick up on criminal activity. Ha, huh, she doesn't suspect a thing. Nathaniel Mayweather, I'm just a fellow student of your Namco High. Really? I haven't seen you in class. Because I, uh, I skip. Every class. Whoa, Connie must be one of those troublemakers. That's why she has all those aliases. And since Owl's Club is all about stopping troublemakers, I bet he's gonna take her down. And he's brought me along for backup. Wow. Better play it cool. Yeah, that's no big deal. I skip classes I don't even have. Damn. It's rough, son. Wow. Hardcore. Figured we'd have a lot in common. Therefore, I feel very comfortable talking with you about cheat codes. Aha, now I get it. I wants me to play the part of a cheat code dealer. And then we'll catch Connie in the act of trying to trade cheat codes with me. And then I'll have her arrested and make the club look really productive. Wow, this is so high stakes. I almost really trust and like me. Uh, yeah. Cheat codes. Totally know so much about those. Good. Knowing about those is what I was hoping to hear. Let's do the criminal code handshake before we get down to business. I don't remember what I did for the handshake at all. Um, no. No? Ha ha ha. Nathaniel Mayweather, you passed the final criminal code test. Using rudeness. I knew it! Okay then, my gang could use some cheat codes. She's in a gang? This is serious business. And then we use the cheat codes like weapons against other gangs and maybe the police, because we're bad. You said it, lady. No wonder I wants to put her behind bars. Therefore, it's a plausible result of the things I just said. I'd be willing to pay top coin for cheat codes. For my criminal gang. If someone knew where to get them, that is. It's all on me now. Gosh, this is such a cool club. And now such a cool guy. And he's willing to me an oak crud. I need to keep my head in the game. <clears throat> yeah, cheat codes. Sure. I heard of those and know how they work. Yes, good. I'd like some. Um, bad ones. Well, I mean, good ones. Like, they should work. But you only use them if you're a bad person trying to get over the big old crime is what I'm saying. Like, murder? Like ripping the tag off a mattress. Oh, shit! Oh, or something bigger. Like, embezzling pensions? That's just rude. Or committing mail fraud. Or retiring from a high-paying corporate position. But the same firm in perpetuity while courting the very politicians who determine the policy that regulates the same industry you used to blah blah blah. I'm not following any of this. But it sure sounds dangerous, but also like something that'd be on the news probably. County is the most mature criminal I've ever met. Also the only one. Yeah, sure. 
You're gonna equip your gang with the cheat codes. So you can break the law some more. I dig it, daddy o daddy -o. Is that even criminal lingo? And steal some cheat codes with one another. Yes, let us. Yes, I ordered the latte. Thank you. <gasps> Wait, what's Principal Dig Dug doing here? An innocent life is caught in the middle of our criminal dealings. Nathaniel Merriweather? Oh no. Don't panic, Nathaniel Merriweather. Just use your criminal mind to construct a lie. You can do this. Uh, nope. Hmm, that lie could have been a little more fleshed out, I guess. This is the most flagrant instance of skipping I've seen on my years of principaling. And for the deadliest detention of them all. Battle dome detention. What? Bitch, where you going? You probably haven't heard of it because no one has ever survived its rigors. Or been sent to it yet. It's new. You can't do this to me. Oh man, I hate to just one owl and blow the whole sting operation, but I can't duel to the death. I like living too much. I'm here on official school club spirit building business. I am suspicious, but listening. For the Namco Anti-Real Crime Club. I'm doing a sting. Sorry, Connie. What the? She's already gone? Namco Anti-Real Crime Club, eh? It's the same there isn't a fiction club, because you could be its president. Well, vice president, because of Aki. But the takeaway is that there's no such thing as a Namco Anti-Real Crime Club. I fucked that up. That's crazy. Albatross is in the club, too. You think piling a lie on top of lie will make the original lie stick? But it won't work for one very simple but incredibly dramatic reason. There hasn't been an Albatross enrolled in Amco High for 30 years. <gasps> Was that a like ghost all along? Nor has there ever been an Albatross enrolled in Amco High. Ever. So. Wait, not a ghost? What? Yes, one of my hobbies is memorizing enrollment records. Makes sense. You might think that's crazy. Plenty do. But I couldn't have cracked the case of Nathaniel Mayweather who lies about clubs while skipping class without that knowledge. There's clearly some kind of confusion here about attendance and record keeping practices. But that's a mystery for another time. Right now I just don't want to do a battle dome. Uh, you can't take me in for skipping class. We're off school grounds. You have no authority here. Aha! The old legal mumbo jumbo trick. That's true. Whew. Off of school grounds, I had no legal right to invoke the battle dome, despite my frequent lobbying to the contrary. In light of these findings, I shall commute your sentence to a mere double detention. Well, dad gum, son. And what's Albatross gonna do? Stay tuned for the exciting mystery. Dun dun.